Hi everyone, it's kind of late at night right now and I'm kind of sleepy and tired but I couldn't find any other time to film this and right now I have on all of the lights I could possibly find so hopefully it's bright enough even though I know I look a little bit yellow but this is as this is as good as it's going to get. So I guess this is my formal announcement that in the fall, next fall, um, I'm going to be studying abroad in Korea. And um, before that, next week, I'm going to China, staying there for a month, and then school starts August. It's going to be at Yonsei University in Seoul. I'm super excited. I'm going to be staying there for four months. Did I mention that already? And... I guess what else what else is there is I just wanted to make this quick video explaining I guess the reasons why I chose Korea because ever since I've been telling people like I had accepted to study abroad I'm going to Korea they've been like why did you choose Korea and some of my relatives are like why didn't you come to China you know because I'm Chinese and at first I didn't really know a good answer for it because it just felt right, you know? Sometimes it just feels like it's what you're supposed to do, and I couldn't really put that in words. So I decided I needed a better answer because I was going to get that question a lot, and so I started thinking about it. And I came up with a couple of reasons that I've written down here, and today I'd like to share them with you guys. The reasons why Nancy is going to Korea. Bear with me here. I have them written down, so you know, I might be looking over here because I can't remember all of the points that I want to talk about. So I guess reason number one, the most obvious reason, is that I love Korean music. Not just K-pop, but also um, I'm really into underground Korean hip-hop right now. Like I love Benzino ever since I discovered him, and I love Verbal Jin, and then I found this other indie band called Rem and Moro on SoundCloud and I think, you know, the music scene over there is just fantastic. I really want to go to some of like the indie Honda Honda music clubs over there. And of course you guys all know how much I love Korean dramas and I also love Korean food. If I go a couple days without it, I crave it like crazy. And I also love the culture, you know, it's just different. A little bit different from what Chinese culture is and I love how they're po so polite to everyone and I don't know it just it's always been really interesting to me so moving on to reason number two ever since I was younger like in middle school when I first discovered k-pop and all that I've always dreamed of going to Korea it's always been a far away dream of mine and I never really thought I'd get a chance to go for some reason. But in middle school, my friends and I, we used to like write these stories pretending how we would, you know, go to Korea together and, you know, chase K-pop stars, stuff like that. But, um, so yeah, that's always stuck with me. And it was back then where my love for true, or <laughs> it was back then where my love for Korea truly began. Uh, reason number three, are we on number three? Is that it was kind of like fate how everything happened because this is gonna be kind of a long story but I wasn't planning on applying to study abroad until next year, my junior year because you know I felt like I still needed to take everything in because it's my first year getting into my major and you know I want to do one thing at a time but then I realized like some of my friends they were already they've already applied and accepted and they were going to study abroad this year so you know that kind of made me panic a little like oh my god I'm behind maybe I should be going now so as soon as I could I looked up the study abroad things and I realized that if I wanted to do an exchange through my major, that way the credits would transfer better. I thought I'd already passed the deadline for that, so I was like, okay, I'll just look into like the general exchange. And I was thinking between, you know, Yonsei and like Hong Kong University, I think it was, because, you know, 
it'll be my first time out of, you know, near my family and everything. So I wanted to be in a place where I at least knew the language and I could get around. So I was like, okay, maybe I should just choose Hong Kong University and I put Yonsei as my second choice. But I didn't submit the application yet. So I then went to go see an advisor to talk about, you know, if I could fit study abroad into my credit plan, I guess, what whatever you call it. And then he actually sent me over to this other advisor, which I later found out that she was the um, study abroad advisor through my major. So she was like, well, I can't do anything about the general study abroad, but, you know, you can still submit your application through, you know, the the major exchange. So I was like, I thought I, I missed the deadline. You know, that's great. And the only two open at the time that still had spaces left was Singapore and then and then Yonsei in Korea. So I was like, well, that's great because I was having a dilemma choosing between China and Korea anyways. So, you know, I ended up applying to Yonsei, got my application in within a week because I was so scared that somebody else was going to turn theirs in. I was going to lose that spot. So, yeah, and then I got accepted and everything else just went by so fast. It feels kind of like a dream, and I do think it's fate that I ended up, that I am ending up going to Korea right now. Yeah. Reason number four is that I really want to go and learn the language. You know, it's another dream of mine to be fluent in Korean one day. I don't know if that's possible, but you know, I'd like to try my hardest at it. Hopefully one day I will become fluent. I've always loved the language because it kind of has similarities with Chinese, but yet not really. It has its own charm as well. It's a very beautiful language. It sounds amazing. That's why I love Korean music. Um, I don't know, just like everything about Korea intrigues me and I do really love it. And by learning the language, it would be really nice if I didn't have to read subtitles, like English subtitles all the time when I watch dramas or wait for them to come out with subtitles, you know. It'd be cool just to be able to watch TV and understand what they're saying. Also, when I go to karaoke and I want to sing Korean songs, I don't have to memorize all of the lyrics because that is what I do now, pitiful, I know. In Chinese karaoke, like the they're like Korean words, and I'm just like, I think this is that part, but I just end up singing verse one twice because I can't remember what verse two was. Yeah, so if I learn the language, I could definitely sing everything correctly, you know, and not have to waste a lot of time memorizing lyrics. Now we're down to reason number five, and you know, we're getting into the deeper stuff now. But I think. I'm going to Korea in in search of something that's been missing in my life for a long time. It's hard to explain. I was born in China, but I came to the U.S. when I was five, and I kind of remember everything that happened back then. And ever since then, I've never been my true self. I feel like over here, there's always been something missing. And I've never been the most confident me that I could be. See, when I go back to China every summer, you know, I feel great. Minus air pollution part that I don't like. But, you know, I'm more open and more... It's hard to explain. I feel like I'm just more me, you know? Um, and I don't know what is missing. It just doesn't feel like home here in America. And I would say that I am in more in touch with my Asian side than some of the other students, friends, Asian American friends that I know. So I think I crave the Asian culture in my life. And by going to Korea, I hope to find, you know, whatever is missing. And even if I don't find it, at least I know it's, you know, not there instead of wondering my whole life is Korea the place I should be that I belong and as I've mentioned before I've never been out and away from home in a place that I didn't have any friends or family so it'll be a completely new experience for me and a test of my independence uh, 
I am a little bit scared, I have to be honest, because I know it won't be easy. There will be times when I want to cry. I can predict it already, but, you know, mom's not going to be there, and it'll be tough. <laughs> but I will mature on a whole nother level, like what Chanyeol says. <laughs> hope to mature to another level and then when I come back here I'll be like Nancy 3.0 or something you know so those are probably the top reasons I could think of of course there's like little stupid things that I'm going there for like the cosmetics hello I'm gonna buy like 50,000 Etude House lipsticks over there and then it's free eyeliners but you know I just want to talk about the deeper stuff today because if I told people, like, when they ask me, why do you want to go to Korea? And I'm like, oh, there's makeup there. They'll think I'm, like, a little woo-woo, you know. Very dense, shallow person or something. And I love jajangmyeon. I'm going to eat so much of that, you know. Why do I keep on saying, you know? Oh, and I'm really excited to drink milk. Like the carton thing, but like with a straw. Because I've never seen that before. I don't even think they have that in China. Where it's just like a carton of milk, but they have like a hole where you can put a straw in it. My friend said they have them in Taiwan, but you know, I've never been to Taiwan, so. I'm super excited for cartons of milk, too. Oh, and I almost forgot. Most importantly, I hope to conquer my fear of vlogging outside in front of people because before I always used to be so shy I've always wanted to do it but it just terrifies me that I'm talking to a camera with other people watching and judging me they're like what is she doing you know but I feel like in this day and age it's more normal because a lot more people are doing it hopefully and you know it's always hard to do in China because the regulations and they don't care who you are, they're just like, no filming, you know, I don't care who the heck you are, you can't film here, and they give you no good reason. But since a lot of other people have vlogged in Korea, I do think it's possible, and it's a great opportunity to develop my vlogging skills, so I'm excited for that. Since I made this promise that I'm going to vlog in Korea, I can't go back on it, so I'm kind of like forcing myself to vlog. Plus, I think knowing that I'll probably never see any of those people ever again or recognize them. Um, and they might not remember me talking to myself, the crazy girl that was talking to herself in front of the camera. Comforts me slightly. So I think this video is getting too long. I am very tired. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.